Welcome to Bible Stories with Activities. Today's Gospel reading for the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time comes from the Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where there worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. So today's gospel reading is a little hard to hear. It's a little harsh to take, I think. Um, Jesus is telling us if our hands and our feet are causing us to sin, to cut them off. And if our eyes are causing us to sin, to pluck them out. So it's, it's a little harsh. Um, but I think if we reflect on what Jesus is saying, what we can take away from today's gospel is that we should cut away the things in our lives that are causing us to sin. So for instance, if we watch a television show that causes us to um, make bad choices or behave in sinful ways, we should stop watching that show. If we're hanging out with people that are bad influences on us and bad influences um, in the choices that we make, then we should stop hanging out with those people. We should cut that relationship out of our life. If we get on social media and we only engage in petty arguments, then maybe we should cut out the time that we spend on social media. Like we don't need all that negativity in our lives. Um, if we are engaging in that, that's not gonna help us become the saints we're meant to be. We should um, strive to be better people um, and strive for holiness. So we need to cut out all the things in our lives that are causing us to be sinful and engage in negative behavior. So my challenge for you this week, I want you to think about what are the things in your life that are causing you to sin and how can you cut them out of your life? Since this Sunday is also Priesthood Sunday, we are going to be making cards filled with spiritual bouquets for our priests. The materials that you will need are black construction paper, white printer paper, markers, scissors, and glue. All right, and now that you have your materials, let's get started. First, take a piece of black paper and fold it in half like a card. Then take a piece of white paper, fold it in half like a card as well, and then glue it inside of your black construction paper. Then taking a marker on one side of your card, write Dear Father and your priest's name and a little thank you note for everything that they do for your parish. On the other side, write things that your family will do this week uh, for them. So for instance, maybe you'll pray for vocations. You may say a Hail Mary for your priest. You may pray an Our Father for your priest's intentions. And you may also pray for St. John Vianney, who's the patron saint for priests, for his intercession for your priest um, and his vocation. You can also add some illustrations to your card and then sign it with your family's name. On the outside of your card, take another piece of white paper and cut out a square and then make a priest collar on the front of your card. All right, now you have your completed card for Priesthood Sunday with your spiritual bouquet for everything you and your family are going to do um, and offer up prayer-wise for your priest. So don't forget to take it and give it to your priest after Mass this Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you and your family have a truly blessed week.